for me, and I think it's true of almost all uh, prostate cancer patients, there are no symptoms. So you had no knowledge at all that you had the disease. So it's a big shock. Prostate cancer is the most commonly diagnosed uh, cancer in men in the U.S. About 180 to 190,000 men are diagnosed with prostate cancer each year, killing about 30,000 men in the U.S. The average age of diagnosis is men over the age of 70. However, men as young as 40 have been diagnosed with prostate cancer. I went through a normal physical exam that I do every year and I had an elevated PSA exam and so I went and then had a biopsy perform and it turned out that I did have cancer. We, we do a pretty good job of diagnosing prostate cancer but we do a very poor job of being able to determine who's going to have a bad cancer versus a, a better cancer, a cancer that may not cause a man any problems. Uh, he could have that cancer in his prostate for 20 or 30 years and it will never become aggressive. And so what we want to do is to identify those biomarkers to determine who's going to have a tumor that's going to take a really, really fast, aggressive course versus those tumors that may take a slow, indolent course. The fears uh, that most men, uh, when they learn about the, the disease and particularly when they learn about the surgery are, uh, are very concerned about the side effects uh, with the surgery. Sometimes there are issues with continency as well as issues with potency and it is an individual case-by-case -case situation with each man. The surgical techniques have advanced to the point now where there is there are clearly better outcomes with surgery than there were uh, in years past. The research that TGen does is cutting edge in every way. And their research, which is very targeted in different disease areas, is to try to map defective genes and then to try to identify potential treatments. The problem is not necessarily whether the treatment is successful or not. It's that we really can't tell, give a man enough information so that he can make a real informed decision on how he wants to be treated. The environment here at TGen, which is a truly translational environment, all the research is associated with actually developing assays that can get into the clinic to actually help patients. And so the hope is that at the end of the day we'll be able to identify important biomarkers and novel targets for therapy so that we can give the patients more options. Dr. John Carpton is, is uh, in the early stages of research efforts uh, focused on, on prostate cancer and you know I've been engaged in dialogue with him and uh, and with Dr. Trent and, and some physicians outside of TGen to try to put together programs for more extensive research on prostate cancer.